Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. This is International Master Ben Cheng, and I'm finally back with a five-minute game. It's I know it's been several months, but I just have been very busy, and I also can get my audio working on my new computer. But uh, now I actually managed to basically buy myself a headset, so all the audio issues are going to be gone now, which is very nice. All right, so this is a old thing that I've become somewhat familiar with. It's a delayed G4 line. The thing is, there's a couple ways to play against this, but I'm going to play against it this way. So let's see how, what happens here. H5, G5, Net to C4. I'm pretty sure this is theory. I think it's a theory. If it's not theory, <laughs> I'm going to be in some trouble. But uh, I'm pretty sure this is theory. Yeah, D5, yeah, Net G3. Then go D4. Bishop here. Do you play queen d5 here or bishop g4? I think queen d5 first. So bishop d3, then bishop here, f3, queen d7. This is all theory, and yep, that first. I think I actually play queen d7 here, although I'm not too sure how it's supposed to happen. But I think this is fine. I think I just go back now, bishop back, I think. So queen e2, knight c6, cows castle. That's usually how this goes. Um, unfortunately, I have no idea how to continue because I'm usually not very. <laughs> I usually don't play these lines very often. Okay, he plays h4, so this is interesting. Um, I believe it is castle here. I don't think it has anything to do at this point. We can probably play f5, but uh, I think I should do it after a castle. Casting seems very safe anyway. So the thing is, I can take this guy if he decides to um, play cast queenside, but it probably won't. It looks super dangerous. <clears throat> so playing this move is interesting. Basically, this means that he's going to stop me from playing uh, f5. <laughs> so, okay. So I play king b8, or I can play knight e7 here. I mean, this is possible. Basically, what this does is it prevents him from getting control of f5. It allows me to put f5 some points, and I'm gonna have to force him to opposite this guy. Hmm. All right, so I'm gonna try out. Hmm. Oh no, actually, I think it's red, but just can't tell how I'm supposed to play this position out. Um, I can do queen four here, which is interesting. Basically, what this does is uh, it's actually it's kind of strong actually, this, this move here. I think this is pretty strong. Because if he plays a3 here, I have bishop c4, which looks winning, possibly. So I'm going to try this out. Queen a4 looks good. Bishop c4 is my threat. Um, awesome. Then we just went a2. That's basically my other idea. And um, hopefully this works. Hmm. Since this is my first uh, cast in a long time, actually, it's been seven months. I have no idea how this audio is going to turn out. Um, it's being too headset right now, so I don't think it's going to be any background noise. But uh, there might be. I might have to take a look. It's been a it's been a while since I last used Camtasia. Oh, look at that. So, question is, if I play Bishop Bishop here, will he check me first? I think he will. So let's let's give it a shot. And check King here. Okay, so this is interesting. Basically, I can take this guy, which is actually kind of a big deal for me. But I can also not take this guy. I can uh, play a bit more flashy if I want to, but I'm not sure if I should. It's definitely interesting though. If I take take bishop here, he this would check. It's kind of unfortunate. Huh. Okay, so let's see here. How do I play this position out? It really feels like I have something here though. It really feels like it's just something that this tells me that this should be something here. I don't know what it is though. Maybe I can play the d5. Because pieces are kind of stuck here, so I'll probably just do this move. <clears throat> it's kind of weird, but uh, basically, nc 3 is an interesting threat because I have this queen 6 a3 if he takes with the pawn, which is just mate. And if he goes there, then 
I think I can do that anyway, but I'm not too sure. I feel like I should play rook d6 here. No rook c6. Or rook c8 immediately. Man, I really feel like there's something like I have something huge here. But I can play a bit safe right now. I don't wanna get I don't wanna play too insane right now. I don't have much time left either, so I can move faster. Um base my plans can be rook c6 or rook b6. I can play rook c8, it's active change. But I'm not too sure if that's gonna work. I feel like it should work, but uh, I could be wrong, of course. So um this move's interesting. I can play rook b6 here. Or I can play Actually, I would do rook b6. Uh, so basically, my threat is going to be push f8 and sack on a3. Maybe play rook e8 first. Oh god, this is so bad. Why did I just do. Okay, this is kind of bad. So now I'm going to go queen, queen here. Unfortunately, I kind of missed this move, which is really, really stupid. Shouldn't happen at all. But uh, I'm getting rusty, so this is partly why this happened. <laughs> this is pretty bad. But uh, I do have an a5 and a lot of lines here. Of course, Bishop F8, which is very, very strong. Hmm. I mean, okay. I'll go back. This move is kind of silly. He's just trying to play Queen B4. Um, just hope he does that. So I'll play this move. <clears throat> and of course, if he takes it, take with Bishop. And then if he goes Queen B4, I can take it and take on F3. Which seems pretty good, I think. So hopefully, um, I guess we'll see what he does. You know, he has a few options here. He can play bishop d2. We can do that move, which is interesting. But uh, this gives me the option to play this move first. And play bishop f8 afterwards, which I think is very strong. Or even bishop back first. And then queen c4. But uh, this seems, seems better, bishop b4. I think uh Okay, so he has a he has a threat. Okay. <clears throat> he has a threat. Yep, he does that move. This guy's a pansy. This guy is a pansy. E5. Okay, this doesn't seem to work, I don't think. I think I'm probably gonna lose this game. But he's he's still a pansy. Unfortunately, he's he's in socket, which I can't I can't do anything about. So he's in socket for sure. <clears throat> B six. <sighs> Shit! If I just didn't lose the exchange there, I was just crushing him right there. He was uh he's pretty much lost. But now I think I'm pretty much lost myself. But I'm gonna I'm gonna give it a shot. This B three move doesn't seem pretty good. But I guess we'll see what happens. Not too sure why he did b3. Don't think it's that good at all. <clears throat> I think this move's good. Okay. Oh boy, how do you like this guy is super lucky. <laughs> this guy's so lucky. Okay, king here. Oh, okay, he's gonna do that thing. Alright, fine, I resign. This guy's so lucky. <laughs> oh my god. Let me just see how how crushing I was earlier. This guy's so lucky. Holy shit. Did I just see that? Uh okay, so a6 or a5, okay. It's e4, I knew e4, because it looks e4 and d3 and stuff like that, yeah, that kind of stuff. Here. Oh, d3. Oh god. Oh god, rook d6 is winning too. Oh god. Even here, I'm not even that much worse. I think I'll play them at this point. Now here. Now look here. I should have done a first. Oh my god, seriously? 
how's this work? King takes Nancy four. Oh my god. Wow, I'm rusty. Oh my god, again? <laughs> Jesus. Okay. Let's see if I'm winning here. I don't think I'm winning here anymore. Okay. So now I'm actually lost. Alright, so. Yeah, very, very lucky this guy. Jesus. Okay. Uh, thank you for very much for watching. Uh, that was the law of salt that just poured in the wound. Hope to see you guys next time. And I'll probably be talking a bit louder too. This time it was very, very late at night, so I didn't want to talk too loud. Thank you very much, and have a good day. Bye bye.